Well, I have four wonderful features and I'm very proud to have them included on, on this album. First and foremost, um, the wonderful violinist Itzhak Perlman, who is an icon and my teacher for many years at the Juilliard School in New York when I was studying with him. And I uh, did write him an email if he would be um, happy to do one piece with me. And I suggested an arrangement me and Frank van der Heiden did uh, from the Shostakovich duos. And I was delighted that he agreed to do it. So uh, thank you very, very much again. The second collaboration I was really looking forward to was um, getting a wonderful tenor, which I've been working with uh, for the last couple of years, already a few times in the past. I even had the honor to write a song for him, which is called Madovese. But for this classical album, I really wanted to have Andrea Bocelli um, in a new duet version for Ave Maria from Franz Schubert. So I'm super excited that he agreed to do this. Thank you, Andrea. Um, the third wonderful musician uh, comes more from the jazz direction. It's Till Brunner, wonderful, great um, instrumentalist, virtuoso. And um, there is a very famous piece for violin. It's called Hora Staccato. It's based on a Romanian folk tune. And it's also quite famous in the trumpet repertoire as a classical piece. But the original feel, the folk song feel, is actually closer to jazz than classical trumpet playing. That's why I immediately thought that Till would find the right approach to join me uh, with the violin. And he did amazingly, beautifully done. And the last collaboration we did was for uh, a piece by uh, Claude DBC, uh, one of the most famous ones. Uh, the girl with the flaxen hair. And uh, I asked uh, Kukomi, who is a Japanese flutist. Um, I recently worked with her for her own album. And um, so the connection was already there and she was kind enough to join in. When you pick up the phone or when you write an email, the first thing which comes to mind is hopefully they're not going to write back no. I don't know if I can bear it. <laughs> so, of course, even if you're successful, you're still kind of self-doubting what you've been doing in life. That's a normal feel you have as an artist. So it takes a little bit of backbone to sit in your room or when you're on the road and type this message because you really don't want to get a no. So I'm very, very happy that the people I contacted were kind enough to say, yes, we'd love to work with you. That means the world to me. <laughs>